Hello, welcome. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're gonna to talk about how to calculate the mean, which remember is a synonym for average, by hand. So, we have talked about in the past the number of Twitter posts, and we talked about when we were looking at this before, when we had the five number summary, how the data had to be in order. But if you're calculating a mean and you're doing it by hand, it doesn't matter if the data is in order. Now, in the last video, we talked about different notation. So here we have the notation for x bar, which if you remember is the notation for sample mean. Now when you calculate an average, essentially what you do is you sum all of the observations, that's what that numerator means, and you divide by the number of observations. So n, if we haven't talked about it before, n is the notation for sample size. So how many observations are there in the data set? Well here you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our sample size, or n, for this particular data set is going to be seven. So when we calculate x bar, the numerator is going to be adding, and that's what that sigma means, it adds everything behind it. We're gonna be adding all of those up. So we have five plus seven plus one plus four uh, plus 10 plus 12 plus eight. And we divide that by the number of observations, which is seven. So if you sum all of these up, they sum to 47. So we have 47 over seven. And if we finish that out, we have 6.71 as our X bar. So one thing to note with quantitative data, it's best to go out two decimal places. So to the hundredths place when you're calculating things. And here, remember that this X bar is representing the sample mean. So we had a different notation for the population mean. Do you remember what that is? mu. So mu is the notation we use when we calculate a mean for the whole population. X bar is the notation we use when we calculate it for the sample. So remember that that's the notation for a sample mean. And we use the different notations so we know which type of group we're describing. So in the next video, I will show you how to glean that information off of uh, SPSS output. See you then.